Hello, I'm Imke van Lierten and today I will be talking about figurative language generation in Afrikaans. We are presenting at the SIGTYPE workshop at the 2021 conference of the North American chapter of ACL. We present here an alistean based approach to figurative language generation, which we believe is an important step towards creative text generation in Afrikaans. Due to scarcity of resources, we train the proposed network on a single literary novel. The model generates phrases that contain original figures of speech, like the example on the screen. I will begin today with a few questions. Why are we interested in creative text generation? Also, why do we focus on figurative language in particular? Then I will explain the model and data set, discuss the results and conclude with some thoughts about evaluation. Right, I am a literary scholar, so it follows that I'm intrigued by creative text generation. My co-author and I lead a small research team called AI as Author in Istanbul, and we bring into conversation machine learning and literary studies. This paper expands our work on co-creative poetry generation in Afrikaans, which we recently presented at two EACL workshops, namely African NLP and HCI plus NLP. Today we focus on an important aspect of that study, which is the automatic generation of figurative language. We're the first team to attempt creative text generation in Afrikaans and do so from a rather unusual vantage point, that of literary studies. Now onto the language itself. The Afrikaans language is mostly spoken in Southern Africa and is one of South Africa's 11 official languages. Masekane shows that NLP research in African languages is underrepresented, and this is true of Afrikaans as well. Although some studies and data sets are available, text generation in Afrikaans is very limited. Now, we've reached an important question. Why figurative language? Why is, for example, metaphor important in creative writing? Metaphor is a vital resource that is often associated with originality. And interestingly, because it is open-ended, original figurative language invites the reader to participate in the process of meaning-making, thus facilitating connection between reader and text. Compared to metaphors in everyday speech, unusual metaphors stand out, and in literature, capture readers' attention. Furthermore, it has been argued that original metaphors communicate greater emotional intensity than conventional metaphors. So to summarize, it seems the more unusual and unexpected the metaphor, the better. So I don't wish to generalize, but some areas of improvement in generated poetry appear to be emotional impact, depth, and originality. And a possible implication of the ideas shared on the previous slide is that the presence of original metaphor in generated poetry might help solve this problem to an extent. It might enhance the perception of originality, creativity, emotion and memorability, as well as help capture readers' attention and facilitate connection. Now I will discuss the model, architecture and data set. Please note that we follow the exact same approach of uh, our previous work. We use two-layer Alistium architecture, stacking Alistium layers, followed by dropout layers, then a fully connected layer and a softmax layer. Since we did not have access to a large-scale data set, we followed an alternative approach. We did not train on figurative language, but rather on a single Afrikaans literary novel, the library at the end of the world. Uh, the word cloud shows its most commonly used words after stop words were removed. Training on a novel did work, and the reason lies in the style of writing. The text is uh, rich in figurative language. 
So similar to the train data, our network outputs unique phrases. I need to mention that we did not set out to generate figurative language per se, meaning that there are no specific components to enforce rules or constraints on the model. These are example results of our figurative language generation. I think the translations don't really do justice to the originals, but give a good sense nonetheless. You may notice metaphor, personification and simile in some of the results. I will now draw your attention to some of them as I discuss evaluation. As you may know, evaluation in creative text generation is challenging and we believe there is still much work to be done on evaluation criteria. I would like to elaborate based on some examples of our generated text. Now, are these results successful? A recent review by Van der Lee et al. identifies the most used evaluation categories in NLG. Let's apply a few to the results. Fluency. Overall, the results do lean towards the fluent side. Informativeness. Well, can a creative metaphor really be informative? Let's look at this example. I am money because nothing can bleed. It communicates meaning, but is not informative. And what about coherence? Not necessarily. Looking at the same example, internal consistency is lacking. And clarity? Possibly, but that's also debatable. In fact, it really depends on how you define these categories. And as you can see, if the results were evaluated according to these standard evaluation categories for generated text, there is a chance that the results wouldn't do too well. Nevertheless, we find them promising in a poetic context. They are intriguing and often highly original. As mentioned, the more unusual and unexpected the metaphor, the better. In other words, lacking logic? Well, that's not necessarily a problem in poetry generation or other types of creative text. Let's focus on this metaphor. Democracy was a roof garden. Uh, from one perspective, this could be a bad metaphor because the reference don't share any obvious similarities. Or don't they? Uh, some believe that unexpected associations between disparate concepts are perhaps more useful in a literary context. Generally speaking, we do not expect our output to meet predetermined criteria. Instead, when we discover something compelling in generated text, we ask, to what extent are current evaluation frameworks able to value that quality? In this work, we propose an approach to figurative language generation with very limited data. Furthermore, we briefly address the evaluation problem in creative text generation alongside our results. In conclusion, we believe that creative text generation can benefit from interdisciplinary perspectives, but moreover, generated text raises thought-provoking questions about literary value, originality and creativity. You can see our references on the screen and this is where you can find the paper. Thank you so much for your time.